inside Dallas City Hall right now as council members consider a measure to remove a statue of Robert E. Lee from the city park. This is part of a growing national movement to take down markers of the Confederacy. This morning, NBC 5's Tim Siesto went live at City Hall, and Tim, we understand a lot of people have signed up to speak about this issue on both sides. Yeah, that's absolutely right, Deborah. Um, what, as you can imagine, it's a very hot button issue that a lot of folks have a lot of very passionate opinions about. So you have a very long list of speakers that they're trying to get through right now before council can ultimately take that vote. We're told about 50 people are signed up to speak. Now, the city actually had to move this meeting into their large city council chamber just to accommodate the crowd. Early on, we've heard a wide range of opinions, people who think Confederate statues are symbols of racism, others who are accusing the city of trying to erase history, and still more who have concerns about the cost to taxpayers for removing the statues. Now, as the speakers began lining up, Mayor Mike Rawlings asked the crowd to remain civil and brief with their comments so they could get to everyone in a timely matter, each person being given one minute to speak. I have said before that what we do is important, but how we do it is, is just as important. And so today, we are all part of that how we do it. Now, we should note that if this passes, only that statue of Robert E. Lee there at Lee Park would be removed immediately. A task force set up by the mayor to study this very issue would then review other Confederate monuments and names here in Dallas and make recommendations to the city council on what to do with those. The goal being they get those recommendations in by November. Now, our Ken Kaltoff is sitting in that meeting right now, and he'll let you know what the city council decides and have reaction for you coming up later tonight. For now, we're live in Dallas. Tim Fiesco and... City crews arrived at Lee Park a short time later and began preparing the statue for removal. Those city officials didn't say where it was headed. At the same time, Dallas police officers in tactical gear began appearing around the park, directing a growing number of onlookers a safe distance away from the park though none appeared to be protesting the statue's removal. The TRO was signed by a district court judge at 3.30 p.m. and, about an hour later, workers securing the statue with straps for removal stopped working. Flash survey today. Do you think the city of Dallas should remove the Robert E. Lee statue? Here's how you're voting so far. 32, 32 yes, 68 no. Well, as the city council was voting to remove this statue, a leader from the Sons of Confederate Veterans filed a lawsuit to stop that removal. Some of the people here at the park were very pleased. The straps came off and the workers quit trying to remove the 80-year-old statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee, much to the pleasure of some in the crowd, including a former SMU African Studies professor. And if we try to erase history and never have the conversations about it, we'll never be able to come together. We have all these ideas of how to come together. One is to have maybe quarterly meetings in the Arlington Hall. Yeah. The order to remove the statue was a big accomplishment to veteran African-American leaders at City Hall. The vote was 13 to 1, with only Sandy Grayson voting no. I'd like to give the task force time to do its work as the original charge to it was made by the mayor. We do not need a task force to tell us right from wrong. Uh, we are capable moral leaders. The city council resolution ordered immediate removal of the Lee statue and a mayor's task force study of other changes, including street names. I think we're a family here in Dallas. I think it's time we act like it. I think we figure out how to love each other better. The strong city hall majority did not want the Lee statue to attract white supremacist demonstrators as happened in Virginia. This city will be better tomorrow with that statue down. There will now be a court hearing tomorrow to decide whether the statue comes down. It's set for 1.30. The lawsuit was filed by a lawyer from North Carolina who says that removing this statue would cause irreparable harm and violate protected free speech. We'll be watching what happens. Reporting live in Dallas, Ken Caldwell, NBC5. All right, thanks, Ken.
Now, just a few miles away from Robert E. Lee Park, another Confederate mm -hmm. monument still stands tonight. The city council did not have direct control to take action on the Confederate War Memorial outside the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center. The mayor's task force and a cultural affairs commission will review what to do with it and report back to the city council in November. The federal court case could impact the fate of that monument as well. Let's head to Denton County, where there's a growing battle over Confederate monuments. Community members have raised concerns, but it has not been put on the county's agenda for debate. A Denton County Judge Mary Horn has and openly opposed moving it. She says the city addressed concerns years ago by adding a plaque that explains the monument stands as a part of history. The head of the local NAACP chapter says he's willing to run for county judge if that's what it takes to get it removed. And the issue also... And the issue also impacts public schools. The Dallas ISD School Board meets next week to talk about renaming several schools. Five in the Dallas ISD are named for Confederate generals. Two weeks ago, parents proposed renaming the school after the five police officers who died in last year's sniper ambush in downtown Dallas. 